A new threat has surfaced for the next generation of Robotech defenders who have grown up in the wake of Earth's first victory over their alien invaders. Calling themselves the Robotech Masters, this ancient race of techno-voyagers has come to the Earth to claim the mysterious substance known as protoculture. Citizens of Earth, a dire emergency confronts us. The renegade flagship of the Robotech Masters has appeared in stationary orbit 30,000 kilometers above our planet. Communications within the flagship have been intercepted and decoded. These renegades are descendants of Zor, the originator of the science of robotechnology. They are invaders intent on plundering the world's supply of protoculture. Already, much of our satellite communication system has been knocked out. We are presently cut off from space station liberty. This is a state of war. Attacks from the flagship are imminent. Any and all attacks shall be repelled. Military headquarters is doing everything in its power to defend our planet and you, its citizens. You are urged to be calm. You are instructed to act only in accordance with military directives. Again, this is a state of war. We must be strong. We shall not be defeated. Headquarters thinking is we can't sit and wait for those murderous renegades up there to launch a planned offensive. Their sheer destructive power and their robo-technology far outweigh our strength. We need to draw them out with our fighters, lay in a missile barrage, disrupt their strategy, and keep them off balance. It's not in our blood, I tell you. We're just not built to sit back and wait for an enemy to destroy us. We must attack them. But their counterattack could easily end up annihilating our entire defense force. That's right. It's suicide. Why, it's insane to attack. It's like jabbing a stick in a hornet's nest. And a very short stick at that. Stick? <laughs> That's a laugh. You mean twig, don't you? Quiet, all of you. This decision has been made at the highest levels of the government. And once policy is set, it's our job to carry it out. Believe me, I respect all of your opinions. However, I'm sure headquarters has a much broader picture of the danger we face. We will follow the orders we've been given. What remains of the protoculture is our concern. It must be protected at all costs, even to the point of sacrificing lives if necessary. Oh. Let's just hope all the hornets don't come out of the nest at once. In the attack, Lieutenant Sterling's group will handle the rear guard defense. Huh? Lieutenant Crystal, your squadron will be the spearhead. We'll be ready, sir. Some people have all the luck. Huh? Don't get your tail shot off. Hmm. Hmm. Colonel Fredericks, huh? I'm putting this division on immediate emergency alert. Strict military discipline is now ordered. I expect full compliance. Yes, sir. You can plan on complete obedience oh, from everyone. Sir. While details of the surprise attack are being worked out, Sean Phillips, the former commander of the 15th Tactical Corps, receives an unpleasant surprise of his own at the base motor pool. Louis, is my ship ready? Oh, um, I, um... What's wrong? I didn't want to bring this up. That is, um... Somebody tell me what's going on here. As of today, you've been assigned to a new Veritech Huffer tank. Somebody slipped up. With you being in the brig, I guess they forgot to tell you. Which one's my ship, huh? Ah, what's that over there? Is that it? Well... Uh, 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 huh? Hey, a brand new hover tank! All right! Uh-oh, come on, he found it! Beautiful, isn't it? I think I outdid myself. Man, this baby was built with me in mind. What a sweetheart. Nobody else in the 15th Division can handle this, darling. Uh... Well, I'm afraid somebody huh? else is going to have to try, Private Phillips. <laughs> nope. This hover tank is reserved for officer use only. Get it? Now watch my lips while I repeat this, Private, to make sure you understand you'll never fly this craft. Uh, there ain't no justice in this world, and that's the truth. <laughs> This tank and me were history on wheels. Of course, there's still a chance for you and me, little darling. Phillips, the only history we'll make is when I bust you out of the core for insubordination. Now move it! <clears throat> okay, okay, but give me a tank like that and who knows what could happen. Give up, hotshot. I've been bounced off my tank and the prototype, so where am I supposed to find something to ride? Right up there. Huh? What are you talking about? That thing? Hey, what's the big idea? It's the oldest tank we've got, but it's all yours, Private. Thanks. Okay, now listen up, everybody. Orders from High Command. The 15th Armored Squadron will be mobilizing at 1300 hours. And so the defense forces of Earth combine to launch their first assault against a new and powerful enemy. 
In a last-minute realignment, Marie Crystal and her squadron find themselves assigned to the second wave of the attack and watch quietly from the control tower as their comrades lift off in strategic formation. There goes a lot of good men and fighters, Lieutenant. How many do you think will make it back? Most of them should, with any luck. I only wish we'd been able to keep our original orders so we could go along with them. I ought to be up there with them instead of trailing behind. I can't stand being stuck here on the ground waiting to pick up the pieces. This is driving me crazy. Uh, Lieutenant? Huh? I imagine being stuck with this civil defense duty doesn't exactly thrill you. Uh -uh. Even so, I certainly hope you're not getting any ideas about charging off on your own, hmm? I don't have to be given an update on our orders. Uh, yes, ma'am. But remember what happened the last time. And I don't need an update on that incident either, Corporal. 15th Tactical Armored Command, you are now scheduled for deployment. Assemble immediately at Subterranean Gate 6 West and begin moving out to pre-designated sector defense points. As the 15th squad moves into position on the ground, the Veritech fighters continue to close in on the Renegade flagship. Their progress is being closely monitored by anxious eyes throughout Earth headquarters. No doubt their sensors have detected our approaching squadrons, General. Mm. The first skirmish should begin in 30 seconds. Now if we can only withstand the counterattack. Are you picking up any kind of reaction from the invading craft? No, sir. We show no movement of any kind. Huh? Nothing yet? Why, that's unbelievable. First fighter group reporting in, Commander. We are now in attack formation. This is incredible. All right, we'll provoke a response. Start attack immediately. Roger. All right, boys. You heard the man. Let's do it. Some movement on the enemy ship. Right. All units, watch out for cannon fire. Initiate evasive maneuvers. Sir, I'm picking up an unidentified craft emerging from inside the ship. Correct you, Captain. Make that two unidentified vessels. Control. We are now under attack by Mecha from within.